What's going on guys? Welcome back to the video. And in today's video, I'm gonna explain to you five things I wish I knew before I started lifting in the gym. This video for all those guys out there that are trying to get into the fitness and so they can, uh, what's it called? So they can increase their muscle gain instead of decreasing it. You can say, but um, I'm trying to help you guys out, or it can be for women as well, but just a little bit different tweaked. But it's the same concept and nothing hard. I'm just trying to help out, you know. I want to give out you guys the best tips I can from my perspective, okay? okay? So, the number one tip I have for you guys is the secret, but it's nothing too, too hard. Um, the secret to the fitness industry, you can say, or lifting gains is not going online and finding these uh, they're, that they're selling you for oh get ripped in two weeks or ten weeks or two weeks you got to do understand that your body's not the same as other people's um, like me uh, I was aiming towards Zac Efron for the longest time I was googling researching uh, trying to follow what he was eating but I, I came to the conclusion, well, I can get there, but not as fast as, uh, because it just depends how long have you been lifting. Or let's say he's been lifting since he was 15. That's a big difference since I started lifting probably like a year ago. So it's a big difference from one year then to a person who's been lifting for five or six, or seven, eight years. And that's when everybody's like, oh my God, I'm not, I'm not getting any muscle. Um, I, I don't look ripped. I don't know. It's just... After self-motivation comes in, you know, like I said in my past video, it's where your it's your own body type, you uh, your own genetics too has to do with everything. Um, yeah. So when I started going to the gym, uh, my first goal was I wanted to get big, you know. Um, first couple months, it was like, what the? I mean, I was getting a little muscle, but I wasn't eating enough. So what that comes down to is um, if you want to gain size, like muscle-wise, and you want to get big, you have to eat a lot. And that, that takes a lot of courage, trust me. I was eating not because I was hungry, you know. I was eating because um, I wanted to get those gains, you know. In order for me to get that, I was eat, I was going through seven, eight pounds of meat um, a week. So I was basically spending like 150 a week. Um, it does take a lot of a lot of cooking as well, a lot of your time, and that's why a lot of people say, you know what, screw that. But it's a lifestyle, like they say, it's a lifestyle. You can't always. Um, uh, if you don't if you're not dedicated enough then you're gonna give up you know easily simple as that um, for today's workout since all the gyms are closed um, I decided to uh, do a it's a it's a workout I'm gonna run I'm gonna run at Highland High School <sighs> you gotta do what you gotta do to stay fit you know um, you can't always just you say you know what even if they put you the negatives in front of you just because the whole world's going through something right now that's not positive but me I always try to be positive um, if they say no to the one thing there's always an, a better outcome than uh, you can overachieve you know but that's not gonna stop us from getting our one mile in the basic stuff you can do to stay in shape uh, keep moving you know so you won't for the next three weeks it's gonna be our gym baby I want you guys to take a good look. Um, it's, I'm super excited. Ooh, it's, not, no, it's nothing too much. It's nothing too much, but something you know. You can't you can't complain. Cause if you if you keep complaining, then what you're gonna do, bro? So for today's workout, we're gonna do 500 push-ups and 500 crunches, just so uh, we can get started. 
I took two laps for warm up, already stretched, so I'm loose. So we're gonna get this. <laughs> So for those, uh, those are for your core. I'm trying to lose this. I just saw my last video. I still have a lot of fat. So I'm trying to cut down on the fat. And for those are for my core. Do something for, uh, we're gonna do something for, uh, for our triceps. I'm gonna use a diamond push-up for our triceps. <sighs> hard especially when you haven't been doing them how you're supposed to but you gotta do what you gotta do you know please guys Woo! Man, I'm really exhausted right now damn it was an intense workout too there's a lot of well there's, there's like probably four to five people uh, where I was at but we got it through so pops asked me to go to uh, he asked me to go to Walmart so we're gonna go pick up some items for Walmart and a few home exercise equipment that I can use at home for meanwhile yeah let's get it bro and for the second tip I have for you guys it's muscle confusion I've tried uh, those programs that you get to train on the Xbox, on the PlayStation, and it's called Insanity. And I did try those for a couple of months. Um, I was getting a little result, but it was more like for to lose weight, and that's what I, I didn't want. Even though the guy would uh, say, um, you're gonna build muscle, look like him, which obviously, you're like, oh, he's fit. I wanna look like him, right? And well, that wasn't the case so it's easy to confuse your muscles by giving it different type of exercise so for my recommendation for you guys is um, I would go for uh, a program stick to a program um, don't change it up only you change it if you hit a plateau which you can't get over overcome a plateau is when let's say for me instance uh, uh, I'm gaining weight in the areas I want to muscle as well my weights are increasing and then when I hit a, a wall which is like when uh, let's say I'm lifting 130 pounds 45 on each side and I hit that every time but I increase the weight and I can't that's when I hit a plateau so I have you have to step a step back and re reevaluate what you really want. Boom! Just the best coffee in the world. Can't I come to this restaurant called Nana's Food? Mexican food. You got a variety of stuff. My favorite is this one. That one. And that one. You can never go out without your pancakes either. 100 recommended by me. Boom. For my third thing um, I want to tell you guys about is um, you, got, you got to stay hydrated, you got to drink a lot of water as well for you, you got to eat well. Um, 
I always uh, stretching is one of the main parts as well. Stretching does have to do a lot with uh, muscle recovery and stuff, you know. So I would suggest you stretch at least 10 minutes before you work out, you know. It'll help you a lot um, with the stretch on your muscle if you're doing chest or if you're doing back as well. It'll help you a lot, trust me. Um, I'll prevent you from getting injuries as well. It'll help you a lot. But yeah, uh, it's nothing too hard, you know, just 10 minutes before your workout. I know sometimes we, we don't want to work out, but we got to do it, you know. Number four, newbie gains. What I, what I mean by newbie gains? So newbie gains is uh, the first year you start lifting, you start, you see a lot of progress your first year like, oh, oh, uh, I'm increasing my weights, I'm lifting like if I'm on top of the world. But then once you start hitting your second year, um, it's it's gonna it's gonna start decreasing because only reason why is because your new gains as you start your muscles start to develop rapidly. So you wanna pick out the right amount of workouts throughout the day so you can maximize your muscle growth as well your meal plans as well for your diet. Uh, your workout routine. I structure, I structure myself around uh, what works for me, you know? Not everything works for you. Like what works for me might not work for you, you know? For me, like let's say when I start lifting, I'm looking at these guys on YouTube, Instagram, and like holy crap, I wanna get, like, I wanna get big like them, you know? Like you see their huge muscles, but then I don't know if they're behind the story, you know? Like they've been lifting for years, and I, it's, I barely completed my first year. So after your second year, that's gonna it's gonna decrease my based on the information I uh, I've been uh, investigating. But the second year, third, fourth, that's when it, you start to slow your progress just in the gym, as in gaining. So let's say you are 225, you want to push it to 300 pounds, and it's gonna be hard. But I mean, that's why we set back, and then we start going at it again. You know, implement what, what's best for me. You know, five is. Stop caring what people say about you. What I mean by that, uh, stop caring what they think about you. They're not there when you're gonna be lifting. They don't know your progress. They don't. They don't know what you're doing when you're hitting the gym. What routine you take. What's your problems? Just focus on you. That's gonna help you way a lot more. And don't stress about it because at the end of the day, you're doing it for you, right, bro? Right? Am I right or am I wrong? But that's about it. I know this lighting kind of sucks, but um, I'm currently in downtown Albuquerque. Civic Plaza, baby. Join the view here, you know. I'm doing this for you guys. I know I need I, I need to practice a lot, but I'm, I'll get better, trust me. Well, guys, I'm going to wrap the video here. Uh, but yeah, like I was saying, stick to your own thing, you know. Stop caring what people say about you. At the end of the day, you're doing you, right? But comment below what kind of videos you want me, to, um, you guys want me to do. But rather than that, and I'm out.